Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the long range, kind of medium long range here. We're going to be looking at the rest of January. We're not going to talk about February yet in this video, but I will be making a video shortly uh, in the next couple of days about more into February and what we're going to be looking at for that early February towards mid-February range. So look forward to that video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already if you would like to see that video as it will pop up in your subscription box later on in the next couple of days. We're going to be looking at our long range forecast now. Things have already kind of patterned, or the pattern has already kind of switched here. Uh, and we've seen a lot of cold along the east, so we know the pattern has switched. Uh, but around Friday time frame, as you can see from this slide that we have on the screen right now, we're going to see warmer temperatures kind of try to re-enter the uh, eastern United States, especially the southeastern United States, the Gulf states. It's going to be quite warm there. New England, you're not going to feel it as much as well as Minnesota, the Dakotas, Montana. You're not really going to feel it there too bad. Now that's going to last all the way till about Sunday and as far as like the very eastern uh, United States, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, up through Massachusetts, you're going to feel that warmth for a few days. That's uh, We're going to have a low pressure system cut inland and that's going to allow the warmth to really pull up the coast. So that's why we're going to be feeling really warm temperatures Friday through Sunday. But then you take a look at Monday, and we're talking seriously cold temperatures. By the way, all of this is according to the GEFS, which is the GFS Ensemble model. So this is pretty accurate in the long range, and it has been the best Ensemble model so far this season for long range forecasting. We see this cold uh, re-enter the United States by Monday. And again, this isn't long range yet, so there's a pretty high confidence in all this. Not long range yet. Uh, and, and we're going to see that last all the way through about the 28th. Now, this is where we're getting kind of long range. There might be some warm-ups in between. The Insomma models won't be right the whole way through, uh, as this is almost 15 days in advance. But it is showing strong signals at very cold temperatures in late January all the way through to the 31st of January here. And very cold temperatures. Again, this is an ensemble model, meaning that there's, I, I believe, 30 members, 30 different models. This is the average of all of those. So the fact that it shows very cold temperatures means that pretty much all of those are calling for below average temperatures through the rest of January after this Sunday. Very impressive stuff, guys. This is a serious pattern. I expect a lot of snow for a lot of people during this pattern. My early January pattern was not too bad in the long range. My long range forecasting has been quite accurate, even though despite the models flipping, uh, we've managed to keep uh, quite high accuracy. The rest of January looks really, really cold. A lot of snow coming for many of you folks in the Northeast, North Central United States, as well as the Missouri and uh, those Great Plains areas as well that we've been seeing snow in in the previous weeks. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for more updates. We're going to be talking about the snowstorms for this weekend and also Thursday through Friday. I'm going to upload videos on that tomorrow. So anyway, subscribe if you haven't already for those ones. I'll see you guys in the next video.